In this video, I will demonstrate how to use transfinite hexahedral meshing using the Gmesh mesher built inside the Prepomex. Uh, in order to show the meshing, we'll use some geometry, and for that we need to open it. Go to File, Import, go to the Prepomex folder and Models subfolder, and select the Gmesh transfinite uh, file. So just click OK in order to open it up. The file contains, looking at the 3D image, file contains like five parts, but two of those parts are comprised of multiple uh, bodies. So here you can see we have one part which is uh, actually split into multiple parts from part 4 to part 13 and another part which is split into parts from part number 14 to part number 25. Uh, this was done in a CAT modeling software in order to be able to mesh this part with a transfinite mesh. So the key condition, the key um, rule in order to have a transfinite hexahedral mesh is that the basic bodies that uh, comprise a component can all can only be five-sided volumes as is this one so this one is a five-sided volume so where two sides are triangular and two sides are so three sides are rectangular and then here we have two parts where uh, they have six sides and all of the sides are four-sided and here those two components were split in such a way that all the uh, parts that were created by splitting are six-sided. And all of it, their uh, surfaces are four-sided. So in this case, in only in this case, we can create a transfinite hexahedral mesh also for those two parts. In order to mesh them as a single parts we need to first merge those bodies together so we'll select the, all the parts that comprise this fourth component and using a right click we'll create a compound part out of it and we'll repeat this procedure also for the fifth component so select all of its parts or bodies right click and select create compound part Creating a compound part actually hides the bodies that were used to create it and those bodies are repeated inside the compound parts and in order to reduce the number of parts in this uh, model tree we'll just delete the hidden parts. So select the first one, hold down the shift key on the keyboard, then right click one of them and select delete confirm by OK and the parts are deleted. So what we are left with is this first three-sided prism and two six-sided volumes and then two compound parts. Now we can first set up the sizing constraint for the mesh. So double-click mesh setup, create first a meshing parameter, meshing parameters uh, entry, select all of the components and let's select the maximum element size as 5 and minimum element size as, let's say, uh, 3. All the rest of the settings will remain as default, so just confirm by OK. Now first we'll try to mesh those two components, those three components, which are made out of only uh, one body. So go to Mesh Setup, double-click and find the transfinite mesh setup item. As you can see, there is only one setting. The setting is uh, recombine yes or no. So we can first try and see what the mesh looks like when the recombine is turned off. So the recombine will merge the tetrahedral elements into uh, hexahedral elements. Select all three simple components, confirm by OK. Here the preview button cannot be used to see the 
how the mesh looks like and we need to create the mesh to see it now all those three components needs to be selected uh, then right click on on them and select the command create mesh after meshing we can see that the components were meshed with tetrahedral uh, finite elements and we can see that all the surfaces are uh, very ordered in uh, so meshed in an ordered way and that uh, all the um, all the elements are of a very nice shape and similar size we can go back to the geometry module and change the setting of a uh, in a transfinite mesh from recombine no to recombine yes in order to get hexahedral finite elements confirm by ok select all of the components right click on one of them and select the command create mesh again to create hexahedral or mostly hexahedral mesh out of them if you can uh, zoom in into this part triangular this triangular uh, prism you'll see that at uh, some at one um, edge you will get uh, not a hexahedral elements but wedge elements and with this you can see that the meshing is uh, finished for those three parts the meshes are actually uh, structured meshes uh, using hexahedral and wedge elements now let's try to mesh the other two parts let's go back to the geometry module and first let's try to uh, select the meshing uh, so, so to set up the mesh for those two uh, remaining parts uh, create or click the mesh setup item again using double click go to a transfinite mesh setup item select both of them and in this this time we will just leave the recombine setting to yes confirm by ok select both components right click on them and use the command create mesh as is usual in prepomex so after meshing we'll we are switched to fe model part but now the both of those components are meshed or they look like an individual parts in the tree if you open up the mesh parts uh, tree you will see that there is no compound parts anymore uh, the mesh of those of those old bodies is uh, made in this way that the nodes are merged so this is already a connected component but it is uh, divided into uh, let's call them parts where in order to maybe apply different materials on each part if you don't need that and if you would like that after meshing this um, split volume will act as one uh, connected part only one part with uh, where you can apply one material and one section properties you can uh, choose to do so uh, before meshing so if you go back to the geometry uh, settings so the geometry tab and if we open up meshing parameters for those two parts so just double click meshing parameters and then in this meshing parameters instead of basic settings let's uh, turn on the advanced settings go to the bottom of the settings and select merge compound parts and uh, turn it to yes click OK to confirm select those two uh, multi body parts again and right click onto them and choose the command create mesh now after meshing you will see that you are left with a compound uh, part so a part called a compound part where all the elements uh, are of the same one part and now you can use this mesh of this this component as uh, it would be a one material and one section um, component with this this uh, video about transfinite hexahedral mesh meshing is finished